Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari and today I will talk about Star Wars. So yes, basically I watched the whole Skywalker saga last year during lockdown and I just wanted to share my story, my experience watching this saga for the first time. I will divide this video into sections of each topic that I will talk about, so check the description below for the timestamps. First, I have to talk about my backstory with Star Wars. And I actually watched the first movie with my family in 2017. We were just like, no, this is not for us, we are not going to continue, and that was it. My experience at first was negative, I didn't want to know anything more about Star Wars, and I was like, yeah, all those Star Wars fans are just not what I will become, but here I am, 2021, and I am a massive Star Wars fan, so <laughs> things change, people change, and I changed a lot on that topic. I will start with my favorite characters because I always love to talk about characters and I think my favorite, my ultimate favorite Star Wars character has to be Luke Skywalker, I mean basic, maybe, but I just love him. I mean, the first trilogy is his trilogy and you get to see his amazing journey in that trilogy. I love his personality and his appearance, I love Mark Hamill and he just looks amazing and perfect, like the perfect protagonist of a franchise you can think of is Luke Skywalker. Another one of my favorite characters is Poe Dameron from the sequel trilogy. I just love him. I think he's so sassy. He's like Han Solo, but Han Solo was never my favorite. I, I love him, but he was not my favorite. And Poe kind of changed that. Like, I was in love with him from the first scene. Like, he is the first one we see in The Force Awakens. And from that scene, I was like, I love you with all my heart. There was no discussion in my brain about him. I just loved him immediately. I love how he interacts with BB-8. That is amazing. And I love the actor Oscar Isaac. So yeah, all of that combined like makes the perfect character. Also, he's a pilot and he's very sassy and he's very handsome. I, I love him. Another favorite characters that I have are just R2 and BB-8 and Chewie. I think they are amazing. See, Trippio, um, I also love him, but it's not my favorite. Like, I always have a soft spot for the droids and for Chewie. I don't know why. I just love them so much. And I think R2 is just badass. Like, if he was a person, he would be sassy as Poe or even more <laughs> because he is amazing and he helps everyone. Like, what would they do without R2? I don't know. Another favorite character is Yoda. I think that would be kind of weird or predictable. I don't know, you Star Wars fans, please enlighten me in that because I don't really know, but I love Yoda. I know it was a weird change of him being a puppet and then CGI, but I just love him in every version. I just love the way he talks. I think it's very unique and very weird at the same time. I love it. And yeah, he's just very smart and funny and a great master and mentor. Next, I have to talk about Rey because I love her. I don't think that she is the best character, but I love her journey. I love her personality and her aesthetic. I just want to dress like Rey for Halloween sometime in the future, maybe not this year, but I want to. I love her. I think she is a great addition to the Skywalker saga. And the last character that I consider my favorite has to be Kylo Ren. He is just the ultimate villain, but also a soft baby. Like, how can you balance that? I know that he is bad, but I love his redemption journey. I'm a sucker for characters that start the franchise series being bad and then they slowly change into heroes. That kind of is a case of Kylo Ren, like not exactly, but that's how I see it. So I love him so much. Now we'll talk about the characters, my favorite members of the cast. And the first one is Mark Hamill. Like, how can I not love him? I follow him on Instagram, on Twitter, and I just, I think he's just a beautiful man and he supports the fandom. Like, he posts a lot of things about Star Wars. He supports everyone and is very kind to everyone. He's also very funny, very funny. He always makes me laugh with anything that he says. Like, I just, I just love him so much. He was born to play Luke and he to this day is very inspired by the character in the saga. 
Like he embraces it and he knows how important his role was for a lot of people and is to this day because I discovered it last year and it is very important to me. The second one that I love is Oscar Isaac. That was a little bit predictable from what I said about Poe. But yeah, I just love Oscar Isaac. He's so handsome. I don't know. I I just have no words. He's such a beautiful person and he supports the fandom. The fans love him. And also he supports the Finn Poe fandom, which I love. I love with all my heart. He was a perfect actor for Poe and I just think he is just overall a great actor. I've seen him in other movies and other projects and I love him. And my last favorite actor, they are just three of my favorite actors of Star Wars, is Ewan McGregor. I wasn't expecting to see Ewan McGregor so young and beautiful. I think his performance was great, like Obi-Wan wasn't my favorite character overall, but I just love Ewan McGregor. What can I say? I love how he sings and I know in Star Wars that is not even important, but I just love him overall in all of his other projects, so I just was very glad to see him here. Now let's talk about my favorite movies and I have to say that I have three favorite movies and two of them belong to the same trilogy. <laughs> my first favorite movie is The Empire Strikes Back. I think it's the best out of the original trilogy and that is a very common thought, like a lot of people think that and also think that it is the best movie ever. I don't think that, but yeah, it's the best of the original trilogy. Another one of my favorites is The Force Awakens. That movie is filled with nostalgia. And even though I didn't watch Star Wars before, like I watched it the same year I felt that nostalgia. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I just take that as a great accomplishment for the movie. I love it so much. I think it's amazing how they introduce the new characters, how they create this new story that matches with Luke Skywalker's trilogy. So yeah, I'm, I am in love with The Force Awakens. And the other one of my favorites is The Last Jedi. Yes, I'm on that side of the fandom. I love The Last Jedi. Rise of Skywalker wasn't great, wasn't bad either in my opinion. But The Last Jedi was amazing, amazing. I have no words. I loved everything, the connection between Rey and Kylo, just the overall the bitter feeling of Luke Skywalker's journey. I think it was great, amazing in my opinion. I can't rank them. I can't tell you which one is my favorite. I just can tell you that these three are my favorites overall of the whole franchise. I have to talk about this topic because it really disturbs me. It makes me very sad and mad and angry. I don't know why. It just makes me very unhappy overall. And that is the toxic fandom. Because I love Star Wars and I started being a fangirl and being part of the fandom in 2020. So I don't have a huge experience, like years of knowledge and experience with, with this world, with Star Wars. But I can say that the fandom is very toxic. It's great if you disagree with, you know, with a couple, with a movie, if you don't love it and other people do. The bad thing about it, the thing that I don't like is that usually uh, people who didn't like The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker treat the fans who did like they are not part of the fandom. They say that they are not real fans and like, who are you to say that? <laughs> that is not good in any way. Like you don't have to do that. If I enjoyed The Last Jedi and it's one of my favorite films and you hated it and you think it's trash, then just say, I hate it, I think it's trash, but I do respect your opinion. If you like it, it's okay. I haven't seen or been part of such a toxic fandom and that makes me sad. It's very cruel in my opinion and I, I don't like it. I don't like that. I consider myself a fan, but if you have a very different opinion on what you like and what you don't like of Star Wars, I would respect that. I don't like <laughs> those opinions and those ways of making you feel less. Now let's talk about the relationship dynamics. The first one is Han and Leia. I love them. I think they are the perfect match. Like, how can you not ship them? When I started watching the movies and I saw that they tried to do something romantic between Luke and Leia, I was like, mm, predictable, he's the protagonist and the princess, like, no, please make something different. And they did, and I was so glad to see that Han and Leia got together. But I also was very, very sad on how things were at the point where the sequel started, like they weren't even together anymore. 
I need my Han and Leia. <laughs> Luke and Darth Vader. That was also a very interesting dynamic to watch. I always thought that Luke was very positive. He wanted to believe that Darth Vader was redeemable and was still a good person. And I never believed a word. <laughs> like up until the last moment when it actually happened, like Darth Vader actually helped Luke, that's when I believed. But it was very beautiful to see that Luke was right at the end. Next relationship is just one of my favorites ever and it is Poe and Finn. I do ship them romantically. I do think that Star Wars should have made that couple canon. They had the chemistry, they had the support of the actors, especially Oscar Isaac, who begged everyone at Disney to actually make it happen, and they didn't. I'm still sore about how they didn't. Why? <laughs> Why they didn't? They are the perfect match, and they had the perfect meet-cute story. The development in their relationship was great. I love their interactions and the dynamic and I just wish they were canon. I have so many things on my Tumblr about them. That was a missed opportunity. Disney, that was a missed opportunity. You had to make them canon. Come on. The next relationship dynamic that I love is Rey and Luke and Leia. Like the relationship that has with both of them. Both were Rey's mentors in very different ways, but they both taught her many things. She appreciated them and thought that they were part of her family. She felt so at home, like they adopted her and I, I just love that. Overall, a great dynamic just to show how you can just go through generations, but the same essence and the same meaning of the force stays from one person to another and I just Love that with Ray and Luke and Leia. Now I have to talk about my favorite ship. I think with my second watch of the whole saga, because I watched it twice, I have to say now that my favorite ship is Ray and Kylo Ren. I love them. They are just the perfect match too. And their story is just so beautiful to watch. The hate to love relationship, the dynamic, the development and the tragic story that it is. I cannot move on after that. I thought that it was very sad, but also very poetic. That tends to happen to me where I find something that I don't like, but I see the poetry in the storytelling and in the impact of the story, and I understand why they did that. And that's what happened with me and Rey and Kylo. I think they are my ultimate favorite Star Wars couple. Yeah, it's them and then Poe and Finn even though they are not canon. I usually love non-canon ships as much as canon ships, so they are the same for me. And then Leia and Han in third place. Another relationship that I loved is Luke and Yoda. I think that was the perfect master and apprentice dynamic ever, and Yoda was so hilarious. Like, I already said that, but I just wanted to repeat it because I love him and I love the dynamic, especially in The Last Jedi. That was extraordinary storytelling in my opinion and the quote the best teacher failure is is one of my favorite quotes ever like my favorite from star wars because it teaches you a lot like that's life that's what happens one of the reasons why i love joda so much it is because of that quote and the last teaching that he gave luke skywalker another relationship that i have to mention my sister here because she loves them and it is r2d2 and c3po of course, like how can you not? They have an amazing friendship, an amazing dynamic, they are always there for each other and it is just hilarious to see how two droids interact. The last relationship dynamic that I want to talk about is Anakin and Obi-Wan. They met when they were very young, both Anakin and Obi-Wan, and they then create this beautiful friendship and then they were just fighting to their deaths. I think Obi-Wan and Anakin's relationship was the best thing about that trilogy, in my opinion to see them as friends and then as enemies. It was very sad, but yeah, I think it was great. And the last topic that I want to talk about is just the world of Star Wars, the extras, not the Skywalker saga. I watched Row One and I didn't really love it. I loved the ending and I thought that it was heartbreaking and poetic as well. But during the whole movie, I got bored a lot of times. The cast was great. Uh, the scenery was great, the setting, everything, but uh, it wasn't just a film for me. I know that is a favorite of many fans, but 
it wasn't mine. Another thing that I've watched that is from the Star Wars universe is The Mandalorian and I love the show. I watched the first season, oh, both seasons this year and I was so amazed by it. Like at first I wasn't really connecting with the story. The first season, I think the first two to three episodes were amazing and then the last two episodes were amazing, but the middle was kind of meh for me. I didn't particularly love that part, but then season two happened and it blew my mind. I, I love season two and of course I love Baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever you want to call it. I call him Baby Yoda still. I love the dynamic between the two of them. I think it's so beautiful, so amazing and heartbreaking too. Like why Star Wars you like to break our hearts. I don't know, I, I don't understand, but you do. I've cried a lot over the whole Skywalker saga and now I've cried in The Mandalorian. But I really, really do love it. I just think it's amazing and I can't wait for season three. Another thing that expands the world is Galaxy's Edge in Disney World. I want to go to Galaxy's Edge and Rise of the Resistance because everyone is saying that it's the best attraction at Disney World and I believe them. I want to experience that now and I just, yeah, I can wait. And the last thing is just a funny thing and it is a song. And I found out about it because last year on Mark Hamill's birthday, a lot of people congratulate him on Instagram and he shared those stories. In one of those stories, there was this song that I think is just Star Wars. It's full of great sounds from the droids, from the ships and from everything. And I just love it so much. Please listen to it. In the screen, I will put the screenshot of the name of the song and also the link in the description for Spotify. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. It was just my journey and my favorite things about Star Wars. And now I'm part of the fandom, not of the toxic part of the fandom. But yeah, I am and I'm so proud and so happy to say that I love Star Wars. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content about movies, books and TV shows each week. In the screen, I will leave some videos for you to check out after this one and I'll see you next time.